Hi, beloved. Blessings, peace, and love to each and every one. I have a wonderful word of encouragement for someone that is listening to me right now, guys. Yes, guys. You see, in life, guys, the enemy will use, yes, beloved, the devil will use food, right, to tempt you, guys. Yes, the devil will use food to tempt you, to carry your way into captivity, to carry your way in bondage. Yes, guys. You see, for example, guys, if they... If God said to you, say, these food, you're not supposed to consume it, right? And you go and you consume it, guys, right? Yes, and anything happen, it is your responsibility as a man, as a woman, because God already warned you. If the doctor warned you and tell you, say, this particular food is no good for you, you need to stop. Even if it's your favorite food and the doctor order you guys to stop eating that particular food that is no good for your health, right? And you're still consuming it. Right? The devil I use you guys, right? To bring you into bondage, to bring you into captivity, guys. So at the end of the day, guys, it's good when you can pray about situations so God can rearrange, right? In the spiritual and it act out in the physical as well. If you know that you're weak towards certain food, guys, right? Yes, and you know within your spirit, right? Within your mental mind that it's not good for you. It's not good for your overall health as a man, as a woman, Pray about situation, guys, because when you pray, things do rearrange, things change up, guys, right? God do it, right? Yes, guys, because remember, guys, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principality in high places, in heavenly places. What I mean by this? Well, let's see in 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 8, guys, it says, But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith, and love and of an helmet, the hope of salvation. So what the scripture is saying to you as a man, as a woman in First Thessalonians 5 verse 8 is saying, guys, that you are responsible for your own life, right? And you have to trust God with your life also, guys, by you praying about situation, situation that you can handle fleshly, guys, right? Yes, because remember, guys, that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principality, in high places, in heavenly places, guys. So when you pray about the food that you love so much that is no good for you, right? Yes, guys, God rearranged things in the atmosphere for you, right? Yes, so it's by you having faith, by you praying, putting on the breastplate, right? The full arm of God, right? Praying about right? The situation that you yourself can handle physically, but by you praying, God handle it for you and it work out for your ultimate good in the physical guys, because guess what? You are responsible, right? Yes, to rely on God, right? Yes, by you praying guys, by you trusting God, right? Yes, so God can help you to make the right choices at the end of the day. So you don't be, you don't be captivated by the enemy, right? Yes. So beloved, Read 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 8. Meditate on that scripture and apply it in one's life. A very good scripture to remind us, guys. Right? Yes, that when we walk by faith and not by sight. May I tell you, God do wonders, guys. Right? Yes, guys, because the enemy is using food as a bondage. The enemy is using food, beloved. Right? Yes, as a captivity to captivate you mentally physically spiritually and psychologically guys right yes so don't let the enemy rule you guys right because you are responsible for your own health for your own life at the end of the day guys right yes so trust god guys and pray about situation don't be afraid to pray about situation guys right so god can help you to make the best choices for you at the end of the day, guys. All right, blessings, peace, and love. Walk good. Thank you.